Hello everyone, here is the Pelodas and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial I show you how to use my outline shader I created for Blender 2.93 and 3.0. With the outline shader you have the possibility to give your models a new look with different outlines. You can get the outline shader on my Gumroad page. The link is in the description. So first I show you the basics of the outline shader what you can do with the sliders and the connectors. After this, I show you how to apply it on a textured character. Let's get started. So here is the open blend file and of course the first thing you can do is change the color. With the base you can here change the color or connecting a texture. Or some other notes, of course. With the normal connector you can connect in a normal map if you have one. Then we have here we have here uh, outline strange where you can simply uh, change the thickness of the outline. Here is the ambient occlusion connector where you can connect uh, ambient occlusion texture, or you can set it manually with the AO strange and distance. But for Eevee go and checking on ambient occlusion. With the outline shader you have different types of outlines. So basically activated are the wraith lines. You see here are just lines with wraiths. So if you deactivate the wraith lines you have just a flat outline. The other types are cross hatching dots and hard lines. With the basic outline scale you can just scale the basic outline so that you have bigger or smaller wave lines as example. Of course it works with dots with the cross hatching and of course with hard lines. But we have here a slider for the outline effect scale. That's for the effect of the outline type that it have one. Wave lines as example have no effects. If you activate cross hatching and after this the cross hatching noise you see it looks a little bit damaged and with the outline effect scale you can scale the noise. The same for the dots and the dots noise. And of course for the hard lines and the hard lines dots. But you have a, another additional random slider for the line dots random so that you can make uh, another type of hard lines it looks like a little bit pointed. By the dots you have here the slider for dots noise smoothness that you can make another uh, outline type. So play with the sliders and you will see what you can do with it. For the hard lines you have two more options. So if I activate the hard lines you can see the hard lines point in one direction which make it looks less beautiful in some places. So you can change this with making a custom coordinate. So you can activate the hard lines custom coordinate and making two new nodes. A texture coordinate node and a mapping node. So you can use one of the texture coordinate connectors and connect this to the rector. After this you are connecting the mapping to the hardline coordinate connector. Now you can change the look of the hardlines with the sliders here. You can change the location, the rotation and of course the scale. 
it not really make a difference if you use this scale or the scale of the basic outline scale slider. But here you can see you can change the direction of the lines. It's not this what you wanted so you can play with the other coordinates you have here like normal UV, object, camera, render or reflection. But yes, that's it. That's the basics of the outline shader and what you can do with the outline shader. So now I show you how to you apply the outline shader on a textured character. You select the mesh where you want to apply the outline shader. Go on to file, append and to the direction where you have the outline shader. Here you're going to node tree selecting the outline shader and clicking on append. Then you append the outline shader. So now we first connecting the base color to the base and the normal to normal. Now we add a mix shader. We are uh, connect the outline shader on the first shader place. On the second shader place, we are connecting the principlet. The factor we are setting to zero and connecting the uh, output of the mix shader to the surface of the material output. And now the shader is applied. Here you can see already the ambient occlusion. If you have ambient occlusion texture, you can connect it on the character. But if you don't want and make it with the sliders, you can whatever you want. You can use the texture or not. So we can activate a hardline type. The hardlines type you can scale it. Um, strange and all the other stuff you want. If you have a character with an alpha and a texture and a emission texture, you will notice it doesn't work just with connecting the outline shader in this way. We see here the alpha is just black and its glowing eyes are gone. So if you only have a emission texture it's simple to fix this. You just connect the emission texture to the factor of the mix shader. And you will see he have glowing eyes. For the alpha texture it works a little bit differently. So of course you must connect it with the factor of the mix shader. But you will notice it's still not alpha. So what you need is just to uh, connecting a uh, invert between the factor and the alpha. So, but if you want both emission and alpha, you need a mix RGB node. You change the mix RGB node to add, connecting the alpha and the emission to the node, the factor to 1 and connecting the add to the factor of the mix shader. Now uh, the alpha, yeah. Now the, ma the character has uh, alpha and uh, emission texture too. So alternatively you can add a solidify outline. So here this for example. So if you want have a thicker outline if this here for you a little bit too small. Yeah and that's it. You can yeah shade different characters with the shader, give different outlines and yeah I hope you like it. So you can 
give me some suggestions, ideas or anything like that, that I can implement it in the shader and yeah, I will update it for free of course. So yeah, thanks for watching the tutorial and we are see us in another video. Cheerio!